So Meek Mill is facing fire from his fans after new rumors came out alleging that he had an affair with none other than the music mogul Diddy. Now Diddy is a person in the industry with the most questionable reputation, especially after everything that his ex Cassie Ventura exposed about him in her lawsuit. So we do have good reason to believe why this all might be true. But people didn't expect this from Meek Mills. Now Meek and Diddy have been friends for a while, but no one could have suspected that the two were having a sexual affair. But after these rumors started going around, people did some digging on their friendship and found some dirt on the duo. But that's not all. It turns out that Diddy isn't the only one that Meek was involved in. Yup, you heard that right, there's a bunch of other guys who Meek has allegedly had affairs with in the industry. One name that has been coming up recently is that of billionaire Robert Kraft. Now if you're a fan of Meek Mill, you'd know that Meek Mill and Robert Kraft have been close friends for a very long time. In fact, the billionaire usually takes Mill along with him when he goes around the world for business. None of this was hidden, but now that the truth is coming to light, all of it is starting to make a little more sense. Now some of you might be wondering where this all came from, and we'll tell you. Have producer filed a lawsuit against Diddy? yet again, and in that lawsuit he exposed Meek Mills for having a sexual affair with the music mogul. But that's not all, Meek was also allegedly caught by fans on Twitter liking homoerotic videos. Meek Mills tried to clear the air over on X, formerly known as Twitter, but fans didn't really buy any of it. There is a lot to unpack in today's video, so let's just dive right in. You're watching The Celebrity Fix, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about how Meek Mill's love affair with Diddy and billionaire Robert Kraft was just exposed. But before we get to spilling all the tea on that, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button for more videos like this one in the future. I just had a, had like a three and a half hour cry. Now let's start from where all of this came from. Diddy is no stranger to lawsuits, he's faced more lawsuits in the last few years than anyone in the industry. Mostly from his exes, talking about sexual assault. We still haven't forgotten everything that his ex Cassie Ventura said in her lawsuit recently. It turns out that he's facing yet another sexual assault lawsuit. A former employee of Diddy filed the lawsuit against the music mogul, accusing him of several things including grooming. Rodney Jones, or better known by his stage name, Lil Rod, is a former producer and videographer for Diddy. I've been working on an album. Um, I took a year off straight working on this album. That album is the Love Album, Off the Grid by Diddy. Um, and it's Grammy nominated right now as we speak. Um, I should be um, celebrating, but the truth is I'm not. In the lawsuit, Lil Rod said that he was working with Diddy from 2022 to 2023, while Diddy was working on his recent album titled Love. Ironic, isn't it? Now Lil Rod said that Diddy didn't compensate him for his work. The contract that they gave me and the offer that they gave me was just disgusting. The, 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 the producer fee, pennies, and on top of that, these guys are trying to steal my publishing. But if that wasn't bad enough, he was forced to work with sex workers and Diddy even used to serve laced alcoholic drinks at his house parties to his guests, and that he threatened Lil Rod against speaking up. The lawsuit also exposed Diddy's eldest son for being involved with and soliciting underage prostitutes at parties. Lil Rod is seeking over 30,000 bucks as a result of the lawsuit, and he dropped a bunch of names associated with Diddy. But this lawsuit is a story for another day. Today we need to talk about what Lil Rod said about Daddy's little gay affairs with other men in the industry. Now Diddy has tried to hide his sexuality from the public for the longest time, not that it's any of anyone's business. But when it comes to sexual misconduct, the world needs to know just how messed up this dude is. This isn't just some guy who's struggling with his sexuality, it's a very powerful man in the industry who's using his power to exploit young people like Cassie Ventura and countless other people. Lil Rods isn't the first person to accuse him of this, Diddy has been accused of sleeping with and assaulting men and even boys for a very long time. According to Lil Rod in his lawsuit, Diddy had a little affair with someone while he was working with the music mogul the past two years. Now, although Lil Rod named a bunch of names, even name-dropping Diddy's son in the lawsuit, there was one name that he didn't take for whatever reason. But he gave fans enough pointers to know exactly who he was talking about. 
In the lawsuit, Lil Rod's attorney wrote that Diddy was having a sexual relationship with a rapper from Philadelphia who had dated Nicki Minaj. Now there's only one rapper from Philadelphia who has been with the queen of rap, and that's Meek Mills, so we don't even have to look too hard for the answer here. Well, I just like let, the, let it all out. Well, as much as I could tap into, that shit felt great. Sometimes you gotta let that shit out. Now Meek Mills is loved by many fans all around the world, but this news definitely shocked his fans. But that wasn't all, there was more. Now that fans knew that Lil Rod was talking about Meek in his lawsuit, they started doing some digging on the rapper and found out more stuff that even you won't believe. But hold on a second, before we continue on with the video and tell you what fans found out about Meek, do us a little favor and share this video with a friend who might enjoy our content. Now after fans did some digging on the rapper and started to look at him through a more critical lens, they found out that a lot of things that Meek had been doing over the years were suspicious. And then, the video that we all have watched surfaced and set the deal. In the video, you can see Meek in a pool while he's talking to Diddy. Sounds completely innocent? Well, only if you watch it on mute. In the video, Diddy is heard calling Meek, quote unquote, daddy. Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. You putting in that work. Proud of you. I love you. Now, we're no experts, but we all think friends go around calling each other daddy, right? According to some fans, they had even more evidence that Meek was gay. Some fans over on X said that they saw Meek liking a bunch of gay corn on Twitter. Again, XXX content suck one is basically coming out saying that he gave Meek Mill fellatio a few years ago. Now that's a huge deal, and most fans think that even if Meek was a gay man in the closet, he wouldn't be stupid enough to expose himself like that. But just as we thought that the tea on Meek was over, some fans started to point out how Meek was a little too close to the billionaire Robert Kraft, a rich old white dude being besties with a Philadelphia rapper. We don't get to see that every day, right? Well, I got to meet Meek through my friend Michael Rubin, and, you know, he flew down on my plane like almost four years ago and Mars. to Florida, and uh, he asked me a lot of good questions. You know, he was looking for business advice, and I loved it that, you know, it would... Well, the word on the streets is that Robert Kraft and Meek are more than just besties. Now there's no evidence to this claim yet, but the streets are going to come up with proof to back this up soon enough. Diddy hasn't commented on this whole situation yet. His representative talked about the lawsuit filed by Lil Rods, but not about Meek Mills directly, so fans are a little more suspicious about it than before. Meek on the other hand took to X to clear his name and talk to his fans. He started off by saying that he has love for gay people and isn't homophobic. But then he talked about how every blog site was talking about this lawsuit, trying to paint a certain narrative to portray him as a closeted gay man. He then pointed out all the good work he has done for his community, yet all these people are trying to destroy the image of black leaders. He ended his statement saying that it wouldn't work on him, because even if they k-word him, he'll come back bigger than death. In other news, Andrew Tate somehow got involved in this drama too. We thought he was cancelled ages ago, but it turns out the internet is a free space and anyone can chip in. He retweeted a tweet accusing Meek Mills of sleeping with Diddy. To this, Meek replied reminding Andrew of trafficking young girls. Meek's fans applauded him on how he handled that situation. Anyways, that was all we had time for in today's video. Do you think Diddy is going to speak up about this whole drama? Do you think Robert Kraft is going to put out a statement? What do you think is going to happen in this lawsuit next? Let us know all your thoughts and predictions in the comment section below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button for more videos like this one in the future. And with all of that out of the way, as always, we will see you in our next video right here at The Celebrity Fix.